Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is Chris, and welcome back to some more GTA 4. And I discovered something quite amazing right now. First, I found the car that we were using a few episodes ago. The really shitty car that I don't really understand why that thing is on it. Um, but anyway, I discovered something pretty freaking amazing. I found the entrance to the amusement park. We always knew that it was here, but I just never knew that there was actually an entrance to it. I thought you could just look in, into it from the inside, but there's an actual entrance. And I'm excited. I don't believe that you can do anything in it, though, which really sucks. Because I would really want to go ahead and just ride. Ride some of these rides. These actually are covered. I wonder if at any point in the game you can actually go ahead and ride any of these rides. Like, if it's, like, an end-of-game type opening thing. I, like, I just really, really want to try out this amusement park. Like, <laughs> really badly. And I feel like I'm never going to be able to get a chance to. What the hell is that? Is that... It's a hippo. Just a hippo just sitting there. Okay, doke. A ski ball, looks like. Alright. What is that? Uh, Diddy Kids. Is that... It kind of looks like one of those things where you put the coin in and you try to get more coins. Something like that. There's a bunch of drug deals going on down there. Little motorcycles that you can ride on. You know, this reminds me of, um... If you guys were watching my 25 Days thing, I mentioned in the music park called Magic Forest. This reminds me of one of the rides. Like, exactly. Almost on point. That's interesting. Oh, God. Well, let's see. Uh, we got... A huge Ferris wheel up there. We got some cotton candy. And then we got something covered up right there. That's awesome. That is really awesome. And the, there's, there's more to it over there. Can I actually go in? I know I'm wasting a lot of time, but I'm kind of <laughs> I am trying to keep away from the other mission that I got really salty at. I really want to complete though this episode as well. So I'm just trying to waste as much time as possible. Uh, what is this? This is broken as hell. And these are all called all covered up as well. There's like a pirate ship right there. And over there is a Ferris wheel. Not not Ferris wheel. <laughs> Roller coaster. Why did I say Ferris wheel? Um, okay, well, Clearly, it looks like this this amusement park is closed. You can't really do much on it. I am just going to cross my fingers that maybe, just maybe, in the future episode or in, like, future parts of this game that I'll be able to come back here and it'll be open and functional because that really stinks. I, was, I love amusement parks. I want to ride. I want to ride, please. Okay. So, in this episode, now that we wasted three minutes already, I'm going to try, yet again, another go at killing, whatever the fuck his name is, our new boss. We're going to Dimitri right now. F uh, Fawson? Fawson. We're going to try again to kill Fawson. That's, I believe, is his name. <sighs> I'm not going to be happy about this, though. <laughs> uh, I just hope I don't get salty again. This is going to be a bitch to complete again. Okay, well, we already watched this. We know what's gotta go down. Faustin, yeah. We know what has to happen, so we're just gonna get ready. Man, I see skid marks right there. I wonder if a car was right there just now. Sarcasm activated. Um, alright, so let's go ahead and head there. Like, I would try to investigate the place even further, but I really, I, I just don't know what the fuck to do. I'm just gonna have to keep on doing it over and over again, and hopefully, I won't die. Like, the thing is, you have to prevent yourself from dying, but you also have a time limit, like, you have to actually chase the guy. But he has so many bad guys that it's utterly impossible to try to get through all of those and then keep up with, um, Boston. I just don't know. I don't know, my friend. So we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but we'll see. You know what I should do? 
is that after I get inside and try to kill Faucet, like, I'm gonna give myself maybe, like, five tries. If I don't get it in five tries, I'm gonna go to a gun store, and I'm gonna see if I can find a very powerful weapon that can help me blast through them easier. Because right now, the way it seems is that I'm not having much luck at all. Okay, pop gun. Okay. Okay, can I get down R R1? Okay. R1, R1, R1. Okay. Okay, he's running now. What? Right, he's literally not doing anything for me. Okay. I'm gonna go. Wait, right, go, 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 go. Shit. I'm gonna end up losing him. Go, just keep running, just keep running at this point. Maybe you can blast through some of these people. Shit, 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 shit! Keep going, keep going, keep going, just keep going, keep running, keep running. Why not? Maybe, just maybe. Is there people on the roof? Oh! Did I do it? Oh my god, I did it. First try. And I killed him. <laughs> you just see him just shrug, like, oh, alright. Well, that was... That happened. Alright, well. Ah, uh, who cares about money? I'll join you! Okay. <laughs> this is body, so that was bodies out there. Just his blood is right there. Okay. Very nice. So that's it. That was all that mission entailed. I think. I think I was. I don't know what I was doing wrong, though. Like, I think that I wasn't taking. I think I was focusing on killing people in the way too much. I don't know. Faustin is dead. You did a good thing. A hard thing, but a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. Alright, well, thank you very much, Dimitri, for your service to me. I lost my good my <laughs> I'm gonna call it my good car even though I really hate it. <laughs> It's so good, I hate it. Um, oh, it's so bad that I love it, rather. Um, okay, so I guess our next stop would be to go check out what uh, old uh, Brucey is up to. I, I, I forget some of these people's names. Okay, let me go. Alright, no? Alright, so let's, let's try again. We're gonna just try with different cars as much as possible. Oh, jeez. Louise. I'm just gonna take this car. Hello. I'm coming through. Alright. Just destroy that car. <laughs> just take out other cars. We'll try to get one car. Alright, so now... I'll head to Brucey's and hopefully... Hopefully... I got five... I'm keep on getting, like, message notifications. I just call mother father like you. You should look into doing some visual work for... Money, bro. Cops are outsourcing the shit to private contractors. Check it out next time you have a police computer. B. All right, thank you. Uh, message. Uh, come see me with you. You talk. I'll be at the Firefly. All right, we already see that. Did that. Uh, what's going on? I already killed Vlad. Okay. Haven't done a lot of talking to uh, or a lot of texting to people on this game. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. I would just continue the storyline as is. I guess the messages are not just that important. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and head down here. Oh god, not good, not good. Let's we're gonna head around here, I guess. Nope, nope. I'm just spinning out of control. That's nice. That's just that's just kind. Consider it. Um, let's 
just turn down here and then I wonder what we'll do today I hope I do another one of those cop missions because even though that was a little frustrating I actually like those I like the, the missions where you just hunt down someone and kill them like I like the Faustin mission but that was just difficult you have reached your destination thank you thank you GTA 4 all right Brucey let's go easy as can be okie doke Something tells me it's not gonna be easy. Hey, Brucey. Nico! What the? Why didn't you tell me it was Nico? Why? Man, women. Man, women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This guy's a fucking like tool bag. I don't know why I have to come to this conclusion earlier. <laughs> Man, Jesus Christ. This is a sexist guy. All right. Well, that was entertaining. All right, so go to Yorktown Avenue. All right, car, let's go. I'm gonna have to leave you the dust again, but I'm gonna go pick up this guy's car, I guess. So let's go ahead and turn around here. Oh, there's the, there's the topic. Uh, how was everyone's Christmas? I I had a really good Christmas. I got a lot of things I liked. I started loving uh, the sport of football this year, so I got a lot of football gear. Um, I got a few video games. I got a Chromebook for college. Oh god, I have my cat meowing now. I really apologize about that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very much enjoying uh, I very much enjoyed Christmas this year. Especially since like, I was able to really give nice gifts to people this year. I got to see their reactions. That was a nice feeling. Uh, giving gifts for me is a lot more fun than receiving them. This year I was more excited about giving uh, like my sister her really fancy schmancy keyboard for a computer than um, me actually getting any gifts. I didn't, I didn't even remember what I put on my list up until I finally got them. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a very nice Christmas. One of the best Christmases that I've had in a long time. So, I hope everyone else's Christmas was very nice and very festive and uh hope you guys are looking forward to new year's later this week all right round, walk around and get the car all right so let's go ahead and get this car here so move it lady i'm gonna get this car here all right this is kind of basic car it doesn't look anything it's fancy to me all right i feel like All right, here we go. It's about to go down. Step out of Lyle's car, man. No, don't step out of Lyle's car. No. Fuck you. I am not gonna be giving you this car at all. You can eat my ass. Why are they keeping track of the fact that they're probably chasing me? I mean, that would make sense, right? Like, oh, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna hold you. Yeah, see, they're fucking chasing me. Why, <laughs> why aren't they showing them on the map? That's ridiculous. 
do I just go to the area and then take them out or something? Like, I don't, I don't know. There's this added risk now. I think my tires are gonna end up getting shot out too. This is really obnoxious. As well as my cat at my door. Okay, well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I got taken out big time. Alright, go, just go. Just keep driving, keep driving. My cat's distracting me, and I got the GTA 4, and I want to kick this cat. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I know I don't promote animal, animal violence. I love my animals very much, but the, my cat's annoying right now. Okay, alright, okay, okay. Nope, nope, spinning out of control. Okay, joke, go. Just go this way. Just keep driving. You can get there soon. I don't know if you have to take out these guys, but just, just keep driving. Keep, keep pushing forward. Okay, okay, you're here, you're here. Wait, 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 go. This way. Turn down, turn down, turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn. There. It's destroyed, but I did it. Brucey asked me to bring this by. You're lucky it looks as good as it does. The only thing Brucey thinks is good looking is himself in the mirror. Thanks. Ha, ah, that's saying. How did I lose the people, though? Really? I lost them? How did that even happen? Okay. Well, I'm gonna end off today's episode because early, or I usually do, because. Oh, wait. Let me listen to this phone call. The car is in your lockup. It was not so easy. People were waiting for me. Shit, man. If I'd known it'd be like that, I'd have gone and get it. People don't fuck with Brucey. I mean, you're cool, though. You made it, man. You got the mad red army driving skills. I'll sort you out.